Hello, today we're going to look at a great example of Exploranalytics' powerful composite view functionality, which allows us to build a report and then build a report on top of that report. The example we're going to use is, what's the average number of incidents opened for every asset model per month? So it allows us to identify if there are certain assets that have a lot of incidents being opened for them. So maybe those assets are troublesome and aren't working out. Let's get started. I'm going to start by creating a new report on ServiceNow's incident table. The first thing we need to do is identify how many incidents are being opened up you know, per, uh, per asset model. So incidents by asset model. In this case, the first view is going to be an input into the second view. So it doesn't matter too much what type of aggregation we use, but in this case, I'm going to use a pivot so I can easily show you what's going on. And when I click fi finish, it's going to create that report. So now what I need to do is p get all of the information together that we need in order to measure the number of incidents by asset model. So obviously one is I'm going to walk to the configuration items asset and select the asset model. And then I'm also going to want to pick a couple other pieces of information. So for example, uh, I'm going to want to get the year end month that this was created. So we'll drag this opened and select year and month. And we'll also want the priority of the incident so we can measure how what those priorities are. Now we're going to do a little bit of filtering. So I'm going to click filter data and I'm going to say that we only want to look at the ones that were opened, uh, let's say, during last 12 months and where the configuration asset model is not empty. So let's take a step and look at what we have so far. So for each month, I can see that the Apple MacBook 13 had, you know, two high priority incidents and one critical incident associated to it. Uh, you know, the Asus, you know, had one low priority incident, etc. This is what you can get today using ServiceNow or other tools, which is how many incidents were there. But we don't want to know the number. We want to average over these last 12 months to be able to understand on average, how many incidents would we expect to see? That'll give us some forecasting information about the next few months, which is, you know, how, how much would we expect to see over time? So what I'm going to do is say file and create a composite view on this view. What that's going to do, and we'll call this average incidents per month for asset model. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to then aggregate these counts. So we can see not how many incidents there were, but on average, how many incidents are there over the last 12 months per asset model. So you see that by creating a composite view, this is now a list report, but each row in the list report is what we saw before in that pivot. So we're treating that pivot as if it was a table that we can now build reports on. So now I'm going to create a chart and we'll start with a category chart. And the first category is going to be the asset model. So now I can see on it, you know, uh, how many incidents there were, but instead of this count, we're going to have the average number. So this is the average number of incidents. And for this, we're also going to want to sort from the average number of incidents from largest to smallest. And then maybe we'll also use this to select the top 20. So now you can see that for our incidents, number one is assets where we actually don't know the model. 
They're registered, but they're registered as unknown. Those open an average of 12 incidents per month. Next are my Apple MacBooks, which have between two and three incidents on average per month. And, you know, something a little bit more reliable, this Adtron Total Access has about one incident per month. Now, if I was to suddenly see 10 incidents for this Adtron Total Access, I might think that there's a specific problem that's occurring, right? So this is a great way for me to see what's typical for these items. And also to make uh, choices to say, well, my Apple MacBook Pro seems to be more problematic than my IBM ThinkPad. So, you know, maybe I need to make some different uh, decisions, you know, from a purchasing perspective. Now, the reason I pulled in the priority is so that I could also, for instance, put in a, uh, an animation that will allow me to further slice this by the priority. So, for example... Uh, over the last 12 months, on average, there were 2.8 uh, incidents overall. But if I look at critical, you know, the Lenovo actually had three uh, P1 incidents on average. So, you know, this might help me identify where there might be some that have specifically high profile incidents. Congratulations, you can have now created a report that allows you to look at the average number of incidents per model over the last 12 months. You could use this really for any place where you want to get the average of a count. Now, once I have this report, I could also go to file and say track trend, which is going to, on a schedule, take this calculated measure and measure it. So I could say monthly return to this and see if some models are getting better or some are getting worse. Or another thing I could do is go to file and select publish. This is going to create a live interactive view that I can embed into other portals. So um, for example, I'm going to publish this to service now. And I can you know, show or hide some of those uh, controls, but I'm just going to publish this as is. And this gives me a URL that I could send to someone. So for example, I could email this to my purchasing department that said, hey, did you see how many critical incidents the Lenovo has? I could embed this in a portal. So for example, if I wanted to put this in a SharePoint site or, or a, you know, a, a Google site so that folks could see that. But I've already created a ServiceNow content block name. So I can go to my uh, ServiceNow instance. I can go to my pro problems trends dashboard. And next to this CI classes with the most problems, I can add to the content to say, okay, under the Explore Analytics section of my homepage content, I'm going to find this average incidents per month for asset model. So I can now put those side by side and see these are the CI classes with the most problems. And for assets, you know, these are the models of assets that seem to have the most problems on average. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in finding out more, there's the wiki, uh, the Explore Analytics user guide wiki that has documentation on composite views, which is the method we use to get this. Um, you can also sign up for a free evaluation at uh, my.exploreanalytics.com slash register. Good luck and looking forward to see how you apply this uh, in your own organization.